Good afternoon, morning, or evening, uh, students. <laughs> Depends when you watch a math video. Um, here's a video on how to find an angle, a certain angle, that's in standard position. And if you don't know what standard position is, make sure you're watching the videos that I've done before this one that talk about standard position, because otherwise this is going to be really confusing, okay? and how to find an angle if you're given a point on the Cartesian plane. Well, let's learn this by doing it. It's the best way to learn something, right? Here's a question. Given the point negative 4, 3, what is the related acute angle and the principal angle for this point? This video assumes you know what the related acute angle is as well as the principal angle, okay? Again, there's two videos that come before this. They also talk about angles and standard position. Okay, definitely a good thing to check out. Here we go. Let's do this question. So let's draw our Cartesian plane, apparently invented by Rene Descartes way back when. And here we have our quadrants, one, two, three, and four. Uh, let's draw the point negative 4, 3. If you remember correctly, you go 1, 2, 3, 4 this way on the x-axis. That's what comes first. x always comes before y, just like in the alphabet. And 3. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to plot our point. There it is. Now, we're supposed to find the angle that is created when the... Um, we're going to find the angle, and not just one angle, we're going to find the related acute angle, which is this angle right here, okay? And we're also going to find the principal angle, which is the angle that starts at zero degrees. This is zero degrees, remember? And it moves its way along and gets to here. So we're supposed to find this angle and this angle, the principal angle and the related acute angle. And all we know right now is that this point is a negative 4, 3. Well, how would we do this? We don't have much information here. Guess what? It's not very difficult as long as you know how to do regular trigonometry, okay? Again, that's a video that you can also watch, but hopefully your teacher has already explained or taught that. What we're going to do, <clears throat> let's see, what should I use? I'll use a different color. We're going to create a triangle here, a 90 degree triangle we know that this length from here to here is 4. Sure, it's negative 4, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, this distance from here to here, and a distance is always positive, that triangle has a side length of 4. This part here is 3. So we're going to use this, along with regular right angle trigonometry, to find this angle in here. Okay? So what you do is you say, okay, I'm inside here, and I look across and I look beside me and I remember that this is opposite and this is adjacent. The hypotenuse is up here. The only thing that uses opposite and adjacent is tangent. Okay, so you have tangent of our related acute angle. It's okay, Sean. I can push pause. Okay, sorry about that. I just had a student come in the door and need some help. I'll see if I can carry on where I left off. We were talking about needing to find this angle right here, which is the related acute angle, and uh, opposite and adjacent, tangent. So let's just make a symbol for that angle. Let's call it the related acute angle. I'll put an R there for related acute angle. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, okay? So if you take your calculator, and make sure it's in degree mode and quickly 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75 find the tangent use use the inverse tan button sometimes that means pushing the uh, I don't know the shift button on your calculator on this particular calculator oh my goodness where's the inverse button on this calculator is that it okay here it is tan Oh, there it is. 37 degrees. I'm rounding it off to 37 degrees, folks. Okay? So R 
is 37 degrees. I know that the related acute angle is 37 degrees. I have just solved the one part, the first part of this question. So how do we figure out what this principal angle is? Well, remember 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, where I'm pointing. 180 minus 37, and if you want to do it on your calculator you can, 180 minus 37 should give us what the principal angle is. 143 degrees. Okay, so 143 degrees is our principal angle and 37 degrees is our related acute angle. And that's all we need to do. Now I could sign off and say there you go, but let's just do one more bonus question just in case you have a few questions still about this yourself. Given the point 7, negative 4, find the principal angle and the related acute angle. Here we go. Okay, 7, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This doesn't need to be done on graph paper because we're just kind of sketching things as we go. There's our, it's cutting through 7 and negative 4. Okay, so if we were to draw a triangle out of this, it would be 7 this way, here's 90 degrees, and it would be 4 here. Okay, what we're trying to find is the related acute angle to begin with right here. I'll call that, I'll call it theta with a little circle, and I'm going to do it in red. Boy, it always looks nicer when you do something a second time. See how much better this looks than the first example? Okay, well what you do is you look at this and you say I want the related acute angle which is the angle between this thing called the terminal arm and the x-axis. So that angle there. Again, it's tangent, okay? So tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, 4 over 7. Okay, so what's theta going to be? Well, you have to use a calculator at this point, or a trig table, but that goes back a little farther than most of our times. I needed it when I was in school, but anyway, you get this, then you have to hit the inverse button on your calculator, sometimes the shift button or second function button. There's tangent, and I'm rounding it off, so I'm going to get 30 degrees when I round that off. Okay? a nice number. So if that's 30 degrees, if this is the related acute angle, what's the principal angle going to be? The principal angle is the angle that starts from here, moves all the way along until we get to the terminal arm. Okay, so this angle right here, how would we figure that out? Well, all the way around a full circle is 360 degrees. If I was to go all the way from here till here, again, same spot where I started, I'm going to subtract 30 degrees to bring me to the principal angle, which will be 330 degrees. Okay? If I was a really good student, I would write this out. The principal angle is 330 degrees. The related acute angle is 30 degrees. But because I'm just showing you how to do this in a video that I don't want to take 20 minutes to do, I'm just going to stop there. Okay? I hope this hasn't been too confusing for you. Thank you.